Hello viewers. Today we will discuss about null pointer exception in Java programming. Exceptions let allow the programmers to know the error to be solved. There are two types of exceptions. Null pointer exception is runtime exception. That means it can be caught while compiling code. Java data types are divided into two types. Primitive data types and reference data types. When we declare a reference variable, we are really creating a pointer to an object. Java allow us to assign special value, null, instead of real object, that means, the reference variable points to nothing. Let get example. Here we define double variable, value. This value does not contain any value, instead it have pointer that points to nothing, because we have initialized it to null. If we try to call any function of double, let's say to string, it will give null pointer exception. As we calling to string function of null object. Let we initialize it through new keyword. Now this variable value initialized by double object and now variable value assigned to the double object. If we call its to string function, it will print as here. Similarly if we call a method of null reference or try to access or modify any field of it, it will give us null pointer exception. Here we get another example. We make a class address and create object and initialize it to null. Here we made address class, and here we initialize it to null. Because address object point to nothing, whenever, we call its function, it will throw null pointer exception. Here we call get city function. Now we run project. If you look at console, it will throw null pointer exception. Suppose we initialize address variable with new object. Now if we print it, it will print, null, but does not throw exception, because address class is not null, but initialize its city object to null. Let no we call to string method on null. It will throw null pointer exception. To prevent this type of exception, one way is to use ternary operator or use if null statement.
Here we use ternary operator to print city. If we run project, now this time, as we use checked through ternary operator, it will not call null object method. Hope you understand it. Thanks for watching.